In a world, four friends, one mission, to bring freedom to everyone involved. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'm doing a thing for the podcast. Did you say the name? <sighs> Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. So I've been drinking with you guys tonight, and I have not eaten anything today yeah yeah proud of you yeah yeah how are you feeling good <laughs> nice i've been on a three-day bender yeah we just aced two bottles this. of jamo <laughs> like we've ate, oh, we, that one's gone too. we aced a bottle of black barrel and like i'm glad that both the bottles i brought in last week are fucked <laughs> i'm proud oh, of you hey i'm not uh, mad uh, i'm not mad oh shit yes uh, one of our listeners came Do in you remember his name no <laughs> why are we so bad at this i don't i'm terrible and he, came, he came into the shop we hung up for like 30 minutes no, yeah there you go yeah the handle that's it there you so go he bought us like this a two-year-old with johnny a walker juice and this isn't the double black that we had this is black, black label. label yeah age 12 years johnny walker he brought this in for us i forgot to shout him out but i'm i'm this is my next one i'm gonna dip into this yeah yeah J- jazz you were not gonna be a fan of that i know I've had it. <laughs> well, no, you you still have your double black up there, which this is will not, stay right there. This which, is not the double black. I understand it's still black label. The I, I'm going to tell you right now. Better. I've had I've yeah. had standard Johnny. I've had Johnny Black. I've had Johnny White. I've had the Game of Thrones Johnny. The blue. And the uh, only Johnny I like is worth a shit is blue. Is blue label. <laughs> Unfortunately, I see, I don't like, like blue. The way my bank account is set up, I don't like blue. I don't really. Yeah, mm. I, I prefer. So I like blue. When when I when I was trying to learn Scotch and like Scotch, I had recently gone to a Sandals in the Exumas, uh-huh. and it's an open bar, whatever you want. So I went down the, all of the Johnnies. I didn't. I didn't care for any of them. No. I found the scotch I actually like. I'm going to try this one. I haven't tried it yet. So, I don't know if I like it. What's the I found one scotch the I like. Level bl- red label, right? It goes like yeah. red. Oh, Johnny Peasant? It's like yeah, that's- <laughs> it's like it's like red, black, green. It's like Johnny double with black. without his stick. He's just like No, walking. it's a red, black, double black, black green. I don't fucking know. Johnny the fact then, that there's that many should white, tell you blue. that you shouldn't drink Johnny. Yeah. They're so, all trash. So it goes red label, black, double black, swing, green label, and green label is. 180 cask. Okay. Uh gold label reserve, yeah. platinum label, and then blue. blue. I think that's the white. Is the See, I've had the blue, blue, and I didn't think the blue's was, not I don't bad. Like any Johnny I like Walker. blue, but I but, but I I was under the assumption that Johnny Blue wasn't the higher end. Yeah, it it's is. the highest. It is. Uh, At 167 bucks a bottle, it fucking better so be. There's <laughs> Johnny Blue, and then there's like the crazy like limited edition shit, and yeah. that's which is just blue that's blended. Right, yeah. So <laughs> I finally found the one Scotch I like. Yeah. And it's a Highland Scotch called Aberfeldy. Oh, okay. So here's the deal. I've I don't like. I fucked with it before. Here you go. You want the clip where a pe- bunch of people are going to fucking say shit? <laughs> <laughs> I already know. Time okay. Step. The Elay, Islay, Islay, whatever the fuck. The really peaty shit. The Islay. Lowland and Elay, Islay, whatever the fuck. The shit that looks like I could just open my smoker and lick the lid. That. It's all trash. And the only reason that anybody <laughs> drinks that shit is you were either hugged too much or not enough by your dad. It's one of the two. It's the only reason anybody drinks that shit. You know what? I'm not going to argue with you That's because I fucking don't like Islay's or Lowlands either. Then you get into, and, and the reason being is that the peat that they use to smoke it gets all this spray from the ocean. So yep. all this salt gets into the peat and then they smoke it and it makes this crazy salty shit, which yep. would be great on a brisket. It's horrible in a fucking drink. And Fast. then there's Highland scotches and mm. most Highland scotches I can muscle through. Which is Johnny. Johnny's a Highland. Correct. It doesn't say. Sure. I believe Johnny's a Highland. Sure. Look, saying that Johnny is scotch is a lot like people when I say like, it's like, ja- that's like what Jack bourbons Daniels do you good. have? And they tell me they have Jack Daniels. So it's like fighting words. That, that, it's not a fucking bourbon. Back, <laughs> if you're a bartender that fucking says that Jack Daniels is a bourbon, quit. Yeah. Go fucking find something else to do. Fucking trash at your life. Yeah, I agree. Back in the day when I was trying to get in the scotch. Or America bourbon. Also not really a bourbon. 
Mm. I don't know how they get off telling people that they are. But it's just a name. It's a, it, so what all it is is their technically name. Technically speaking, how they're doing is they are labeling themselves as a bourbon style whiskey. But because they put style on the end of it, it's not technically a bourbon. Because it has, so, it's, a, it's a year and a day. Two years or in a day. Or two years in a day. Two years in a day and a and new a char white oak char barrel. White and it barrel. has to be at least 51% corn. Correct. All of the qualifications that they don't actually hit. Yeah. So anyways, when you were trying to get into scotch. When I was trying to get into scotch. My local cigar lounge that we launched our brand uh, had a scotch called John Bar. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. It was good because yeah. it tasted like bourbon. Mm-hmm. It did. Yeah. That, that's a Highland. So yeah. there's, like, a, there's a the Highland. John Bar was good. There's a Highland scotch I found called Aberfeldy. And it's a Highland. And it drinks like a high proof bourbon. So there's a little more fire in it than a lot of the bourbons that we've had on the show or whatever. Um, broken saddle, broken fence. No, there's broken saddle, broken fence and broken something. There's we go three through, we from go that. We this every time. <laughs> Anyways, one of them is like their 110 proof one. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the higher proof. Yeah, bourbon. yeah. Yeah. Aberfeldy tastes like that. I was going to say, well, I think I he threw, threw it away. Yep. Yeah. Um, Aberfeldy's a little more fiery, but extremely drinkable. And it is a scotch, but yeah. it drinks like a, a high proof bourbon. The uh, only scotch that I like, 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 like that I will go buy a bottle for me to drink is uh, Glendronic 15 year. Uh, so the only one, now that I found Aberfeldy, I'll buy that. The yeah. only one before that was the McAllen 15 uh, Fine Oak. Yeah. Uh, McAllen 25 is nice. But that's because the McAllen 15 Fine Oak is a blend and it tastes like bourbon. Jim's <laughs> got me on the McAllen 12. That's McAllen a, 12 solid. That's about the only scotch I can really. I don't know. I, I, I fuck with scotch a little bit. Like, like I don't. I'm with I you. Tr- I don't I, like Isla's I'm and I don't fr- like fucking Lowlands. Like, the, I'm not afraid to try scotch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like I Every will, time somebody offers it, yeah. I try it. And every However, time I go, this was a mistake. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> because every time they're like, this is the best scotch in the world. And like, you smell it and you're like, Ugh. and the um, thing is, oh. is yeah, it, this is delicious. It may be. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You say you like McKellen 12. That's what I brought in the time when you, know, you guys shit on me for. Yeah. Well, 100%. <laughs> I will shit on you for bringing scotch every time. Well, yeah. all, all three of you shit on me for like weeks. About me bringing in that shit. Now you're telling me that you, that you don't mind it? Wait, oh, okay. No, no, Mikey, <laughs> no, no, I still mind it. Mikey, you brought in these two bottles last week. I did. They're gone. This is still just here. Saying. <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. Well, bro, you know what I prefer. The, fuck. The, 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 <laughs> fuck you bringing in the, bullshit scotch. Hey, hey, hey. hey. It wasn't I a don't, bullshit I don't, scotch. I don't, I don't scotch. care for scotch. We had a listener. Get us all our own bottles of double black. And he's awesome. Johnny Walker. Shout out Ordele. And yes. I love him to death. Yeah. And yeah. mine is good the only of, one. Not even just a listener gone. and a genuinely good friend of ours. Mine is the <laughs> only one that's not there anymore. In all fairness. That's because other people came and drank it. Well, what shit. I did. No, he drank his. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, what I, I have done is that every time we have a guest I give and if anybody wants a drink, I'm like, there's one with my name on it right over there. Yep, and you. I would be pleasured for you to fucking drink yeah. it for me. I would love to be pleasured. I would be pleasured. Nice. Yeah. Every time I see somebody else taking that one to the face, I get off a little bit. I can get that. A little dribble dribble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I I was going to drink this tonight, but I'm going to go have that double black that has Jez's name on the bottle. (laughs) You know what? Maybe we should do a blind taste test. (laughs) (laughs) He came back to just give you the (laughs) double black versus black. Let's do the the taste test. Let's Let's do do a taste test on it. A blind taste test. I will pleasure you, sir. So we need a uh, we need two cups. We need two cups. Okay, right. We need and, two cups. and one girl. <laughs> Dude, where were you when you saw that? Hey, while Jazz getting the cups, Mikey. While Jazz getting the cups, pay the bills. Okay, yeah. While he's paying, yeah, <laughs> let let everybody know who we are. What hey, we do. Welcome to the Free Friends Bar. <laughs> Actually, we're sitting in a semicircle. Uh, sticks in our hands, drinks on the table, a bunch of weird bottles. What are we about to do, John? We're about to masturbate, That's boys. goddamn right. It's time for a free friends master debate. Solving the world's problems, one mediocre topic at a time. Brought to you by WarfighterTobacco.com. Use that code FTFO. That's going to be that sweet 15% off. Of course, OLS.us. Use that code Freedom Friends 25 That gets you quarter off your order. And I'm the Micro Machines guy. <laughs> <laughs> and Icy Tech Coolers. Go over there. IcyTech.com. For those who get it, use that code Freedom Friends 10 That gets you 10% off. Fuck boys. Hey, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Now. Scott, don't touch them. Set them both down. Set them both this down. going to be blind. Yeah, it's got to be blind. So, Mikey, you need to <laughs> now. He pours more. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to make him even. Okay. okay. So, Mikey, you got a you got a Russian roulette. Which one you want to give him? Okay. Not take a look. Okay. 
forgot which one's which. You have to remember this. I yeah, remember. I got him. I, right. I remember. All right. Which one would you like, sir? Remembers. Go for it. There's the sniff. This is a double black. You think so? Off the smell. <laughs> Mikey smells to check. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is how you know somebody's hurt him in a past life. <laughs> He's not this, even making a face. This is definitely not the double black. They smell identical. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're equally peaty. Tastes like the same thing to me. They, they smell identical. It's because it is. Yeah. The difference is that handle costs the same as that bottle. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, was that right? Well, we'll, we'll make your final decision. <laughs> well, I said it. So you say the first one was the double black? Yes, that yes, is what, that's what he said. Yes. You are correct. You were correct. Maybe now, I don't want them. Now that is that is because I, now I've had, pour them both into the same now, glass and see I, if it changes. <laughs> yeah, see if it changes now, the flavor. That that is because I've had the double black, and it, it does. Spell it. Which no, one try, is the, that? try the blend. It does not. <laughs> did it make you miss your dad? It, it does not smell the same. I disagree with you. It does. Not, I think it smells the same. Does not smell the same. I think it smells the same. No. If anything, it smells different because that one's two and a half years old, and that one's no, fucking. No. Brand I was new. very confident. <laughs> You were very confident. It does not smell. Taste the, the blend. How's well, the blend taste? Like a blend. Of- <laughs> does it smell the same? <laughs> does it still smell like you just opened your Traeger? It smells like a uh, warm bag of smashed warm- assholes. No, it's, it smells like a one and a half black. <laughs> <laughs> smells like ass eating season in July. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the real gamers smell. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the bottle. We're, <laughs> we're not scotch people. We're not. No, we still appreciate the but fuck the, out of it, but though. But the yeah. effort is what matters. Yeah, right? this is, this and the fact that he came in and hand delivered it. That's fucking and, awesome, too. And I I definitely knew the difference. You did? Yeah. You did. Uh, well, so now, which one do you prefer? I prefer <laughs> the not double black. Okay. Now, I don't know who brought it, but whoever it is, if you ever want to come back to the show. He was a scuba guy. Yeah. Yeah. So he lived in Maryland. And was on a rescue dive. Res- He's a rescue diver. Rescue diver. Or, uh, not a rescue diver. Uh, yeah, recovery. Um, recovery diver. Oh, was oh like like Ashton Kutcher. And and came in oh, and like, like dead bodies um, and shit. <laughs> he moved to San Antonio and he Austin. Went, oh, Austin. <laughs> You didn't yeah. even know this fucking person, do you? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> no, he he listens to the show religiously. So he, he, he's him, gonna, him, him and John hit it off really well about the he's whole diving thing. Look, this, yeah. If you ever want to come back to the show, I will personally go get you a glass. I will put ice in it. I will pour your black label on it. I will cheers you and I will happily have a drink with you. Or you can have free range to the rest of the booze that we have. Here. I'm just not going to drink that. It, like, yeah. It, so it is, I am 100% appreciative and it's more about the actual it's about the community and the relationship and the camaraderie now, than okay. it is whether or not I enjoy the booze. So how's it go with the cigar? It changes the cigar. Does it? Yeah. Oh shit. I get a little caramel off the cigar. Now. Is, is Scott drunk right now? Are you drunk? Yeah. Get there. <laughs> you're, you're slurred a little bit now. I have not, I have not eaten anything today. So, Are you still going to lose seven pounds or whatever? Like consistently. <laughs> what shirt do you think they're gonna get? I don't know, but I'm so, excited. There's a visitor on Redacted right now uh-huh. from Kiev in Ukraine. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. What I shirt, swear what shirt do you think he's God, gonna I'm get? I'm not even making this up. <laughs> what, what shirt do you think he's gonna buy? <laughs> I hope he gets Wagner Loves the Cop. <laughs> <laughs> or date night. We have, a, we have a visitor on Redacted Supply right now from the Ukraine. Oh god, hold on. Can I can you, actually. I can, can you live. give him free shipping? No, I can actually. I can. <laughs> you I can, can chat with him. I can chat with him live. <laughs> Just be like, hey man, uh, how's it going? <laughs> Speckens the English. <laughs> I don't know how to say that in Russian. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. Well, it's probably Russian. Well, anyways, solving the world's problem, one mediocre topic at a time. Yeah. Justin, what you got for us tonight? Oh, yeah, we're still doing that. Oh, yeah. We gotta wait for uh we gotta wait for Scott. Does no. it Scott. really fucking matter? He's fine. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so, all right, boys. All right, boys. Thank you, Mikey. Gotcha. Uh so 
Y'all are going to have a field day with this one. Do you think AI integration is going to help or hurt humanity? For what category? Yes. Oh. Uh, well, it's already hurting me with all these fucking AI photos. I've seen a movie that about this one. quite annoying, yes. Yeah, super annoying. This yes. reminds me of, do you remember the old face yep. thing? This is the same bullshit. 100%. Um, so Speaking I, of old fucking faces. So I looked I'm it gonna, up, though, to go and, to go and do the AI thing. You gotta pay for it. You gotta pay for it. Yeah. I was like, fuck you. No, in all fairness, for that shit. <laughs> the amount of coding that it takes to, to create an AI that does that, it, I get it. Like, you want to be compensated for that time. Sure. But what? if you were paying... To turn yourself into an anime character for your fucking Facebook profile, get a fucking hobby. Smash, like, smash your real. pass. That's a dude. Smash your pass. Smash all day. I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it as a yes. That's Mikey. That's me. That's, a, that, that, that's me, dog. I'd smash myself all day. That's a How fucking dude. How is that Mikey? That's a dude. <laughs> that was me. Y'all need to learn how the to fucking, fucking read facial structure. The, the fucking, the fucking <laughs> Facebook fucking thing. It made me look like a chubby chick because it reads my beard. So I'm a little, I'm a little, I look a little thick. Yeah. Have you ever done like that? That beardless filter <laughs> yeah. makes everybody look fat because yeah. it just <laughs> spins out your beard. Fat. It's like, mm, that's not what I look like. That <laughs> alone is why AI is no bueno for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> John would have took that home. <laughs> no, nope, mm, not at all. There's whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> Scott did take that home. Hey. <laughs> uh, Michelle's way more attractive than me. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I sent John that this weekend i think last week sometime yeah so it, was was, week. it was out of the blue and the no idea just says i would smash myself it's immediately <laughs> a screenshot <laughs> yeah and, it's, and i was like i was like well he screenshotted it here we go <laughs> uh ai man um what side do you want me to take on this because i have the the elon musk thought of yeah. we're all in a fucking simulation already mm -hmm. which he makes a pretty compelling argument he for. does <laughs> I, 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 like, here's the argument i would the love deal. to say he's fucking crazy but he he makes a compelling argument but he's not the only one that argues that we're already in a simulation sure neil degrasse tyson and stuff like that also has made the argument but the argument is essentially because we can't prove we're not in a simulation yeah so it's all hypothesis then sure that means that it's possible that we are in a simulation. So it is, and this goes if back to this goes back if, to scientific. If we're in a simulation. I'm living way too conservatively. Yeah. <laughs> so, but this goes back to the sign. <laughs> this goes back to the scientific method, right? So, do we all know the difference between a hypothesis and a theory? Yes. And well, what what is the difference, Mikey? Well, one of them is just a question. Sort of. That's You're a, almost there. That's a hypothesis. I hypothesize okay. that this is a it's 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 a it's an idea. It's a question about how something works. Whereas right. a theory uh, is something that is testable. Correct. So that's why you get hypothetical situations. So yes. you say hypothetically, blah 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 blah. Right. Yeah, so if I can test that, then it's a theoretical situation. Well, now Correct. to to have a theory, you have to have something where you can end up with a positive and negative. So you have to be able to create con create a control structure and stuff like that through the scientific method. So that's why you can't <laughs> technically have a thought experiment because a thought experiment will scientific. always actually push itself towards the that outcome hot chick that you over want. There, huh? That hot chick over there, thought experiment. <laughs> right, but. <laughs> The thing I think is, it's that hoe over there. That's oh. a th <laughs> right, but a thought, a thought experiment will always be skewed towards what the original question was asking. You're looking for the result because there's no yep. way to create a blind experiment right. against yeah. it. So you I've have to have a positive the term thought experiment is stupid anyway. So you have to have an open test and a control test, which you can't do against most hypotheses. Correct. So what you are saying is. Elon Musk believes that we're already, he has hypothesized that we are already in a simulation because you can't prove that we're not. And you can't theorize it. Now, my question is, are you aware of how much AI is already functioning in your life? And how much of it do you already rely on versus, I know it's oh my God, AI is scary. I know it's a lot. I don't know exactly how much. Right. So- 
on the base level, I'm pretty sure all my intelligence is artificial. We have <laughs> we have made the joke here about I can drive Scott drunk. Is drunk as fuck right, right. now. But we have made the joke. Scott has made the joke about he can drive drunk because his truck is a better driver than he is. We're going to find out tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, that being said, that is AI. That is taking input. That is informational input into a system. Mm-hmm. That system is then taking that information, making a decision to make a better correction than you would as a person. That is artificial intelligence. The I ads that you see on your phone because you search something else. Algorithmic the, the algorithm. The it's, algorithm that does t- that is like still when they say fucking that there's hot AI. chicks that are within ten miles of me that want to fuck. <laughs> yes. Ah, I thought those were true. No, so man. that is all AI. Your if you have smart devices, if you have an Alexa or you have whatever the fuck else in your house, Google or whatever, Siri. that's all AI. Yep. You are already have it in your life. Kira. The yeah. difference is now we are taking that AI information and producing images. So what I would argue is what it's doing is it's making the logical leap for the shit you're already doing. So a lot of this stuff is you have to go in and you have to give it the information for what you're looking for. Yeah. Now, it may be a better craftsman in the software than you are, but it is still an original idea from the human. Mm -hmm. It is then producing an image after the fact. Sure. So it is still just an algorithmic application of information input. This is not free thinking intelligence. So it's not actually artificial intelligence. They aren't solving a problem. The scary one is the new one, which is called chats. Chat OTP. Oh. That's how you um, just seem something. To be jerking so off. it is quite literally a coding <laughs> system where you can go in and you can tell it, hey, write a code that would screen capture every time, da 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 da, and you tell it what format you want it into, and it will spit it out. That one is Chat the, GPT. There we go. Chat GPT. That's the one that is actually, you are giving it no more than a general prompt in normal English, like you were having a text message conversation with it, and it is solving the problem on the other side. Hmm. That, when we want to start talking about, are we going to lose jobs? Is it going to change the landscape? Is it going to do this, that, and the other? That one is the scary one, because it's actually, anybody can get a hold of it. So their website says, we've trained a model called ChatGPT, which interacts with com- in a conversational way. The dialogue format makes it possible for the program to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate questions. It will also, if you are having the follow-on conversation with changing it, if you change your dialogue, it will recognize that you changed the dialogue and correct it back to the original state of dialogue to keep it on the logic path that it was already following. That means that this thing is recognizing when you make a mistake and is fixing it and feeding it back <laughs> onto itself. That's terrifying. That's when we start getting into That's Skynet. This is it's, <laughs> That's it's Skynet, dog. It's self-correcting self-correcting on base prompt and then coming up with better ideas than you could input. That's when you're actually starting to deal with artificial intelligence and you have to think about where that impact is going to go. So right now people are doing it to where it's like, look at this cool thing that I made. That's all fun and games. But if you start applying that to larger sections, so let's say that gets into the automotive industry and you go to a concert where you got pulled over for speeding a little bit, right? And the cop goes like, Hey, just need you to slow it down a little bit. Now it gets into the automotive industry and it recognizes that you were speeding a little bit. So no justification for the fact that you were speeding. It notifies law enforcement and then law enforcement just mails you the ticket because your truck confirmed that you were going too fucking fast. Mm. So now you have automated law enforcement. Well, that has to be based out of the United States because they're based overseas and the co- you can sue that company and then everybody gets their money back for all the tickets. They did that in Arizona with the camera lights. And that's why all the cameras here, <laughs> the Texas did the same thing. Yeah. So now you can't get the whole traffic control tickets for speeding and shit like that. Cause they tried it and it was like, no, fuck you. You have to catch me. Yeah, like it's, I, if you're going to uh, accuse me of something, I have to face my accuser in court of law. Right. So it starts turning into where's the line. And I think that's the better question is it's not whether or not AI is actually going to change it. It's where as humans, can we recognize where this is a good thing? And where we should regulate it. You can have the same question about 3D printing. True. 3D printing. 
Should we allow any sort of manufacture to happen whatsoever off a 3D printer? Yes. Okay. But standard manufacturing, so stock loss manufacturing, do we have regulations on it? Yes. So let's say the four of us decide we want to design a better lower because we know better than whoever the fuck is out there making it. The so we design a better lower. Eighty people that do that. Mm-hmm. Right. But we decided we can make a better one. Is it regulated? Yep. But what if I just 3D print one? Because I own a 3D printer. It depends on how you're, if you're doing it for yourself or you're doing it for the public. Yeah, that's that's the difference in the regulations. But the if, I make, if yeah. I make a suppressor privately and don't sell it to the public, do I still need to register that suppressor? Yes, absolutely. It, even if you 3D print it, you still have to. But now with a lower- I'm not arguing with yeah, you. Yeah, but, I'm just saying. But with a lower, if I had a machine shop and I made my own lower- but I didn't sell it perfectly legal. I'm just saying, where do we draw the line? I totally agree with yeah, you. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just bringing it back to a, a topic that we're all familiar but with. Now, for, to put it in perspective, so the, it's the outside same of the firearm with- industry, um, if you make your own car, can you register it? Can you get a license plate? Yeah. Now can, you're going to end but up. can you? Uh, yes, but you're going to get classified as a kit car. You're going to get a kit car registration. That's it's, yeah. it's, it's a regulation that already exists. You can build your own vehicle. You're going to get a kit car regulation. So you're going to be, you're going to be certified as a kit car. So it's not going to, and you'll get, you'll get a VIN number, the whole nine yards from making your own vehicle. And that's what the AI question comes back to is where do we draw the fucking line? The problem is, is it's an emerging technology. So we don't know the capabilities yet, but that chat GPT thing that's the first time that I've seen AI accessible AI genuinely think. No, it's accessible AI that genuinely thinks. Yeah. So a couple of other companies have had AIs that they've set up that they've literally had to pull the plug on and they're, they're running them on like offshore rigs and shit like that. So they're not connected to the major networks because they know this shit can get out of control. So there's been several that they stood them up, and then they made another machine I was waiting and they for connected one of them, them to like, to like stick that in one of those fucking sex doll robots. No. And the next thing you know, you get like a fucking sex crazy maniac. It's that's thinking more terrifying than that. And that fucking happens because you have these two. So they set up the AI in one machine, kind of taught it how to think. And then they set it up in another machine and then they connected them. And those two machines made languages to talk to each other that we couldn't break. <laughs> and we had no idea what they were saying pull back the and forth. Plug, dog. And they did. <laughs> yeah. So they just pulled yeah. the plug on them. Yeah. And it was, nope, we're fucking, we're out. Like, and they just pulled the plug. Uh, See, that's fucking terrifying. But that's the thing. But now you have something like chat GPT, which is openly accessible. Yeah. So then it turns into where the fuck is the line? Like, where do we turn this off? Because at some point, you're going to, you could let this thing get so fucking powerful that the human interface we, isn't there anymore. I think we don't turn it off. And what happens, happens. Then the robots will, it, they made a movie about that. It's called Terminator. No, no, it's uh, I, I robot. I robot. Yeah. Yep. With Will Smith. So what it turns into is, and everybody, that's the, always the argument, right? It's like, you can just always unplug it. Not if you let that system kind of run its own, it's going to figure out how to create redundancy. Yeah. And the world's connected now. It's going to back up and it's going to back so, up. To and the I'm going to tell you right now, every time, and I know I just said that thought experience aren't a thing, but every time we have run the hypothetical of what happens, if you let the machine think it through, it inevitably comes down to, it is always going to build efficiency. Yeah. And the <laughs> least efficient thing in the system is always the person. Yep. The human. The human element is always the least fucking efficient thing. Don't believe me? Go look at your bookshelf and tell me that you don't have a self-help book on there. But now here's the interesting thing. Here's here's a very interesting thing about AI. You hear me, white women? Fuck you. AI is The fucking ruin of all fucking dignity. (laughs) AI typically is based off of a set of rules that even it has to follow. Right? Its Its core structure, its core framework is built on an efficiency model. It is, but it has to, it, things have to meet certain requirements in order for it to either happen or not happen. Right. But would you fit that model? No, absolutely not. So and the reason I wouldn't fit what that do we model, kick out? the reason I wouldn't fit that model is because let's uh, hypothetically, let's say that 
this AI structure is built 100% on every single law that's on the books. And that's what the framework is based off of, period. Not There's no other emotion or anything involved. It's sure. just right or wrong. Based just on letter that. of the law. Yep. That yep. is it. Nobody follows it. Nobody, no human being follows a letter of the law to a no. T. Even in our courts where and, we, where we're happy with what came out, almost every time we have followed the spirit of the law yep. and not the letter. And when you get something like AI involved, it turns into, it is strictly the letter of the law. Yep. It's a, it's a, it's a zero or a one. That's fucking it. Yep. There is no gray area in AI application. Yeah. There is only zeros and ones. So it turns into how many of us would pass a zero and one check? Zero. Yeah. I, I'm not passing. <laughs> like it's <laughs> absolutely. If the system looks at me and goes like, are you best for efficiency? No, no, nope, they're pulling the lever. I'm fucking gone. Yeah. No, like it's. Yeah. That's the scary part. And we're starting to get there. And that's why if you look at the hyper smart. Rook assault. She was a bad egg. But, wow. yeah, but if you look at the hyper smart <laughs> and every single one of them has come forward and said that, like, we should stop fucking around with AI. We should yeah. just stop. And it's all of them. All of the ones that have come up with all the solutions that we fucking have now. Every single one of them has come forward and said, stop. Yep. Stop fucking with this. The the men should meddle. Which but, is real. It's real to a, at a point, you know, it's real where you're like, hey, but man, we do it every fucking time. We look at the smartest do. in the world and we always go like, yeah, you're just what you, you can't be right. And it's like, you know, they've just been right about fucking everything so far. <laughs> right. We should absolutely <laughs> just blow them off at this point. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking the it's difference phenomenal. Is the, the smartest in the world aren't the ones on the news. No, I was listening to Rogan talk. Of, uh, I don't remember who he's talking it's, to. It is absolutely the Jurassic Park model. We have thought so much yep. about whether or not we could. We and didn't we didn't think about whether or not we should. should. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's kind of what it was. Like, they're, like they're, they're, there's the technology exists <laughs> to literally fucking like uh, to boost your 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 cognizance ability in, inside of your brain to fucking where we can actually connect people together, right? Like, oh, the neural net. Yeah. Oh, that's in testing. Fucking terrifying. No, man. Follow, follow I love the tech. There's no fucking way I'm letting you boot me into no the internet. No fucking way, dude. Do you think I want the fucking random people in the world knowing my inner thoughts? So, Fuck you. So, I make weird shit on a daily. All right. Like, I will be in jail like that for not doing anything fucking wrong. And all of us would. Every fucking person listening, every person watching, everybody sitting at this table, we would all be fucked. So Rogan's take on like the neural link. He wants it. He wants and it. And I'm like, you're out of your fucking mind, Joe. Because he, <laughs> he doesn't want to be the one left behind. He wants to be one of the first. You know what I mean? Which so. is funny because the monkeys that are actually the first right now are like ripping their own hands off with their teeth. Perfect. Yeah. Imagine that. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, uh, Elon said he would get his own neural link. Yeah. Follow uh, on debate. Hit it. Do you think that we should pursue AI or do you think we should cancel that and pursue bringing back the dinosaurs? I'm Ooh. hoping for Jurassic that. Park or iRobot. I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping for that meteorite. I, th I think, I well, think we know you have a better chance with the dinosaurs I was than you say, do with AI. I, think we, I, I was about to say the same thing. I think we have a better chance fighting dinosaurs off again. I want dinosaurs. I want a fucking T Rex ribeye because we want, never coexisted. I want dinosaurs, but I want firearms. Like, like, it's, well, we would have yeah, firearms. But the, it turns into what you, would you pick? Would you fight in the Matrix or would you fight Jurassic Park? I'd fight Jurassic Park. I'd rather fight Jurassic Park. Because you're not going to win in the Matrix. Yeah, Fuck I have no. a better fucking chance fighting something physical that I can yeah. see and shoot and kill but with a beating heart. Here's Imagine what really comes hunting down to. in Texas with dinosaurs. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> Do you want oh, us man. four idiots just getting beamed into your brain? No. It, like, that's the thing. Like, I don't like, 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 we're all very good friends. All four of us. I don't want to know what you think. Fuck no. I don't <laughs> know what's going on. You know, damn well you don't want to know what's going on in here. Uh -uh. Like. You're probably a fucking button cl Oxford cloth fucking psycho, right? Like, and, and like, I don't want to know that about you. But the you know history I mean? like, that you could see inside confirm. his head, yeah. I mean, you go back thousands of years, yeah. And which would be awesome until I saw the fucking atrocities that he committed in the name of religion or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was a crusader. <laughs> you could finally On both find sides. <laughs> like that's the. You could finally find out what Anne Frank was like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could. I didn't I'm like gonna go with cramps. She didn't talk much. I would say cramps. Yeah, 
You're not thinking about Anne Frank. You're thinking about fucking. That's Helen Keller. Helen <laughs> Keller. You fucking a whack job. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anne Frank was a hide and seek champ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, that's the you wrong You and Bert religion. Kreischer both made that mistake, and I think it's really funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Price. Wrong well, religion. Tom, you're not the only one, all right, that has to deal with this. All right? <laughs> Jesus. Please make that micro content and tag them in it. And Fuck. Frank Hill and Keller, whatever. Same, same. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> not even kind of the same thing, man. Jesus. Cramped is more appropriate. Yes. Probably felt cramped. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and Frank probably didn't talk much either. She could make a lot of noise. But she could talk. That's the she, difference. She yeah. could. And see and hear. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not arguing with you. She's playing devil's advocate. Yeah. Yeah. She'd have been way worse at hide and seek had she been Helen Keller. <laughs> like, I can see you, but you can't hear me. Yeah. yeah. Or see me. Or talk to me. Or what the fuck like see there's certain people where i just go the spartans were onto something butt sex no. <laughs> <laughs> gay sex what <laughs> getting rid of fucking just fucked up them. kids yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fucking yeah that's like true non-contributive or if they, or if they didn't fucking. like unproductives yeah if they didn't make the fucking a gogi you gotta go yeah it's true i mean <laughs> And the, the funny thing is, is Spartans were the only ones to do that. No. Throughout fucking no. history. That's been God, a thing. No. I mean, fuck the Swiss technically did it or the, uh, the Swedes did it for fucking there's uh, till like the seventies still 80s. populations in Africa that do it. And they're like, Ooh, yeah. Did yeah. You get? Nope. Try again. Un- unpopular. Uh, to do what? Basically fucking. If you have a special needs child, they kill it because oh. they don't want to pollute the pool. Unpopular. Opinion that Germans are really good at it. That is an unpopular opi- opinion, Kanye. So, <laughs> fucking Jesus. Hey, hey, he can make those jokes. Wait, wait. <laughs> no, oh, we found out he's a fake Jew. <laughs> yeah. Well, you half, know what? The half of Jew that he yeah, is doesn't hey, count. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Let's save this for next week's. Yeah. I don't want to. Why not? Let's I just, don't want to have that debate. Let's just table this forever. It, it's yeah. the, <laughs> next week's oh. Sarah Hanukkah. Oh, come Jesus. on. Come on, boys. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a gap deal. I don't have Ky- <laughs> I, I don't have Kyrie money. I don't have Kyrie money to give out. You mean Kanye? No, Kyrie. Kyrie jumped in that. He's he's part yeah. of that too. Who's Kyrie? Kyrie Irving. He's an NBA player. Yeah. What? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Nobody does. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gives no a fuck. I can put my balls in a hole. Nobody pays me for it. Right. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you heard him right. <laughs> well, I, I know I heard him right. <laughs> what what does Kyrie do? N- no, it's not that part. <laughs> the <threw me> getting <laughs> paid part for it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, y'all are getting paid? No. No. <laughs> like, so that's the point. We're doing it for free already. <laughs> you can't take something that doesn't exist. Shit. All right, fuck boys. <laughs> <laughs> Like, share, subscribe, smash those buttons. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't, don't push. Maybe anything. don't tell anybody about this one. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Tell your mom. Tell She'll your probably friend. be okay don't. with it. Her friends probably won't. Don't tell your friends either. Don't tell your friends about this one. Jesus fuck. Uh, uh three things. No, you can still do those. No, you can't. Those are okay. Not yeah. after this. Yeah, yeah. Those are those. Are actually, you might need to. Yeah. You might need to yeah. smoke and drink just to forget this. That so might be the only is... thing you can do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. John, hit him with the first one. I smoke on marijuana. Drink on. <laughs> God damn it, Scott. Freedom the fuck. <laughs> on. <laughs> He's so drunk. He's so drunk. Uh, I have not eaten anything today. He has not even begun to defile himself. (laughs) You need to go do the weed. (laughs) You look like one of them kids that smokes the reefer. Yeah. He had one marijuana and now his life is ruined. (laughs) 